Hello, it's Till from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I want to introduce you to an add-on that's already in Blender called Trilight Add-on. It's already part of Blender, but it's not activated. And it's it's a three-point lighting setup that you can use when you're wanting to display your model to a client. It's pretty helpful. And it's only in 2.8 and above, not 2.79 and below. So I'm going to open up 2.8 right now. Click on that. Take a little time for it to open up. There it is. Okay, there we, there we go. And I'm going to show you in a diagram what I mean by three-point lighting. And that's this. It's a three-point lighting system. This is the backlight that... Uh, gives your object lighting from behind and the key light that uh, puts more light on the probably like the front right side of your object and the fill light uh, also puts more light on the object and these lights have different uh, amounts of um, I guess emission that way it's not it's, it's not all even it gives it a better more uh, interactive exciting kind of appearance when the lights are not all the same intensity so in order to activate this go to edit preferences and type in the search bar try or uh, no space in between light let me see I think I've spelled it right or you can just type in try and you'll see it here it says lighting try lighting you click down and it'll scroll down it'll show you where you can add the uh, lighting system from which is in the uh, keyboard shortcut which is shift a which I'll show you in a few minutes but let's set up this scene let's press delete from our keyboard to delete that cube I'm gonna press shift a and from the pop-up menu left click on plane and then press S to keyboard and just drag your mouse to scale that up. And the next thing we're going to add Suzanne as our model. So shift A again from the pop up menu. Scroll down to, let me see, where is Suzanne? There she is, monkey. And we're going to go over to the left side of our user interface and click on the move gizmo. And we're going to left click and drag on the Z axis to bring her above the plane. And the next thing we're going to do excuse me, is we're going to go into our modifiers, click on that, and we're going to add a subsurf modifier to Suzanne to make her, give her more um, vertices, make her look more f physically appealing to us, so subdivision service, and bump the viewport view up to 2, and click apply. And the next thing we're going to do is press W on our keyboard, because we want her to be smooth, because if you scroll up with your mouse wheel, you'll see that she's got the, you can see the vertices of the lines of the mesh we don't want to see that so we're going to press W for the pop-up menu left click on shade smooth and then we're going to press 1 on our keyboard and then we're going to go up to to the top part of our user interface and click on view and from view let's go down to align view and we're going to click on align active camera to view left click on that and we're going to center Suzanne in the middle actually Suzanne and the plane in the middle of our camera so we can't really see the plane that well so let's hold down our middle mouse button and drag down hold down shift and left click so that Suzanne and the plane are both um, activated press zero on your keyboard so you can see uh, through the uh, camera then hold down your left mouse button over the z-axis and then drag down so you can see Suzanne completely uh, that's my son outside crying for me to come out um, let me see let me try to finish this tutorial really quick before he uh, smashes down the door <laughs> uh, so left click on Suzanne the monkey and then press shift A and from the pop-up menu, click on light. And go to three-point lights. Click on that. And then once we've done that, let's hold down our middle mouse button. And then we'll 
uh, whooped. <laughs> Sorry about that. Every time I do a tutorial, I have to hide in my room all the time because my son is constantly wanting me to hold him. He's like two and a half, so that's the uh, drama I'm facing right now. My wife is trying to calm him down, but let's, let me just try to focus on the tutorial and get through the tutorial. So we're going to scroll down with my mouse, middle mouse button. And as you can see, we have the three-point lighting system set up. I'm going to delete that default light there. So click on that and press delete. And then let's press F12 and let's see what we've got. We've got this. Now, really to really see the effects of the three-point lighting system, we're going to have to increase the intensity of these lights here. Let's click on the light, left click on the light. Once you left click on it, um, you'll see the light bulb here. That's the, um, the option panel for choosing for the uh, parameters of that particular light. Now the light is pretty low, so let's add a zero to this to make it 150. So let's click on left click on that. Let's click on it again. Press delete once, or actually just press zero. And then enter. Sorry about that. Let's um, press back. And let's type in 150. Enter. Let's click on this one also. Press that. Left click. So I'm going to press in two zeros, make it 300. Left click on this light. I've got to get out there pretty soon. He's really starting to dry heave now. So let's type in 150. 150. Enter. And press F12 again. And now we can see what the three point lighting system does. It gives us ev you know, some, some interesting lighting for our subject, which is Suzanne. So yeah, it's it's not, you know, anything phenomenal. Let's let's try to change the colors a little bit too. Maybe that'll give you a better idea of how it really looks. So let's turn this to red. Left click on the light, left click and this color bar, turn this to blue. Left click on the light, left click on this color bar, turn this to green. Let's press F12 again. And yeah. And that gives you a better representation of what the three-point lighting system looks like in color. So yeah, it's, it's a free, it comes with blend, so obviously it's free. It's not like the greatest thing, but it's something to work with when it comes to setting up a three-point lighting system. Once again, this is only for 2.8 and above, not for 2.79. So yeah, that is the uh, Blender quick tip for today. And I hope it was helpful uh, to someone, because for m myself, learning Blender in the beginning, trying to get a three-point lighting system from scratch knowing it myself it was kind of a challenge because you have to you know you have to kind of get it right so to speak but for 2.8 it comes with it so yeah so yeah thank you guys for listening thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those who will subscribe in the future really appreciate appreciate all you guys and thanks a whole lot for your subscriptions and i know we're all going through a tough time right now with this coronavirus thing going around and it's a worldwide issue but just stay safe and um, just keep your heads up. All right. Uh, thank you guys once again. I'll see you on the next one. All right. Have a great day and talk to you later. All right. Bye. Or see you later. All right. Bye.